Hey guys, it's X Collects back at it again with a new video. We have got to talk about this new collector drop, Chucky and Tiffany, and how it was just a mess, guys. This drop, I have to be honest, it just, I, I've never seen Mattel drop a doll like this. So we just have to get right into the video. So last week, Monster High teased the images for the Chucky and Tiffany dolls that we're going to release this week. And we were all thinking, you know, that Monster High throughout the week was going to show more images and photos of the dolls, but that did not happen <laughs> at all. <laughs> we were just sitting around basically until the day of the drop, literally 30 minutes before the drop like the official drop of Chif tiffany and the chucky doll that's when we got like all the images of what the doll was going to look like some fans didn't even think it was going to drop because they weren't posting anything but monster high did uh put out this statement on their page today that the sale is still happening today 5-1 and they'll be on sale at 9 a.m pst selling for 90 dollars so that's when everybody kind of got the okay that, you know, that they're, they're about to drop. But we, at that point, we still haven't seen the dolls. So a lot of people are complaining that we literally waited a whole week for no promo images until the day of the drop, 30 minutes before the drop. So it was weird. I kind of understand where they're coming from, you know, because there's a huge scalping issue with you know, the Monster High collector dolls, but it didn't really help anyway because the doll sold out within eight minutes. So yeah, now let's get into the doll design and how the dolls look. Right off the bat, I kind of live for them. I'm not going to lie. They, they, they eat down. Uh, definitely Chucky eats down. Okay. Tiffany, we're going to get to her, but Chucky, straight Bravo. Um, I just love the way that they look. They are a super cute duo, and who can go wrong with them? Like, come on now. Now let's get into Chucky's design. Now I'm just going to be honest. I was really disappointed that they didn't take it there with Chucky. Like, I really wish that they would have gave her all those stitches on her eye. Like, that just would have gave it. Like, if you're going to do Chucky, do Chucky. Like, do it right. You know, they gave her that one little stitch on her eyebrow and her eye like wasn't chucky's face roughed up looking i just don't understand that's one big complaint i have about chucky's face i wish they would have took it there so i put the, all the pretty and the nice looking if we gonna do horror if we gonna do we gotta do it moving on to chucky's outfit i just have to say i'm totally in love with her outfit the jean overalls uh the off the shoulder top and it's a crop top the bloody stained it's just everything i don't even know what to say it just looks so pretty i love everything about her they reimagined his outfit and put it on a monster high doll so i have to give props where it's due i love the outfit so much it's so cute i love it they they really did it with this outfit and the shoes, I love the shoes. I love how it says good guys on it. I don't know the meaning of it because I never watched uh, the Chucky movies, which is crazy. I know um, I need to watch them. The shoes are really cute. They're a little on the basic side, but I feel like with everything going on with the outfit, I feel like the shoes were needed to be, you know, a little bit toned down than everything else. But other than that, it's a cute pair of shoes and i love chucky's outfit moving on to tiffany i love tiffany's face it's very striking i love the smoky eye the blonde hair with the side part i love it like her face just it tears up the whole monster high scene like i am in love with her face it's everything the hoop earrings she's beautiful Moving on to her outfit, it's um, a blood-stained, patterned heart design. It's super cute, 
and um I just feel like it was a little basic for Tiffany I'm not gonna lie and it would have been better if she just wore a white dress instead of a blood-stained one I know what kind of look that they were trying to go for but I don't know I just feel like it's a little too basic and a lot of people were complaining that they wish she had a leather like a traditional leather jacket instead of this short sleeve jacket a lot of people were complaining about that so I wish she would have got a leather jacket too because it would have made the outfit more cooler looking and it would have been more um movie accurate as well as the shoes I feel like the shoes are very basic um I think they're cute you know a uh, cute little boot with a little red heel and I love the stockings that she has it's a cute outfit overall and this is the packaging it's like in a bathroom setting I have no idea what's the meaning behind it but um if you watch the Chucky movies in the past please let me know what the meanings are because I would love to know I've never watched the movie so I, I never got a grasp of what was going on um, but I love the packaging. It's super cute. Overall, I think that they're a cute set. Um, if you're a huge Chucky fan, I would say get them because they're just that couple, like straight up. I didn't get a chance to get them because I was in class and I didn't have time. But if I had the opportunity to get these dolls um, one day, I would only just get Chucky. Um she's the one that speaks to me the most out of the two and she has the stronger design and i love her so yeah <laughs> so that would be it for today's video if you like the video please like the video and comment like and subscribe if you enjoy my channel see you next time bye